we did some activities where we were looking at equations, okay? And hopefully you noticed that the number in front of x, which is called its coefficient, the number it's being multiplied, is the slope of the line. This number being added at the back is our y-intercept. So this format is called the slope-intercept form of an equation. So if on a test or in class I'm asking you to write an equation in slope-intercept form, it needs to look like this, where m and b are numbers. Okay, m is going to be your slope, b is going to be your y-intercept. So just some other definitions that remember the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, that vertical axis. Okay, if it crosses it at up at 4, then your y-intercept is going to be a 4. A linear function is when all of the points lie in a straight line. Most of the ones that we're going to be doing right now are linear functions. If you graph those points and they're not in a straight line, you may want to go back and check and see if you did something wrong. Okay? So let's look at a couple examples. So I want to graph the function y equals 3 fifths x plus 1. So if you want, you can make a t-chart, find some values, pick some values for x, I would recommend at least three, okay, whatever you want, and then graph those points. We've done that before. To use the slope-intercept form, you want to start with the y-intercept. We are adding one at the back. So that means my line is going to cross the y-axis at one. So I'm going to put a point here. There we go. And if you notice, if I put 0 in for x, that'll give me 1, so it's the point 0, 1, which is this point. Okay? Now, to use our slope, our slope is 3 fifths. So remember, slope is rise over run, so the vertical change over the horizontal. So that means I want to go up 3 and to the right 5 to get to my next point. You want to start with this y-intercept. From this y-intercept, I'm going to go up 3, then to the right 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there will be my next point. Okay? So 3 fifths. Up 3 over 5. Because up is positive, to the right is positive. I can go up 3 over 5 again. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there will be my next point. You don't have to do these little dots, so I'm going to erase those because they're getting a little confusing. Okay? Now, if you run out of room, I could have also done down 3 and to the left 5 because negative 3 over negative 5 would simplify to 3 fifths. Okay? So if I go down 3 to the left 5, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if you notice, that still lies in my line, okay? I made them both negative because this simplifies back to both being positive, okay? Down and to the left is my negative numbers, okay? Then I would want to connect these with a line and go all the way across your graph. So there's my graph of my equation. All right, let's try this one together. This one's a little bit different because our slope's in a little bit different form, and so is our y-intercept. For the y-intercept, that remember it is what is being added to the x at the end. Okay, y equals mx plus b. Well, here we're subtracting one. So instead of subtracting one, how could I look at that as being added? would be adding the opposite, so my y-intercept is going to be negative 1, okay? So if it's subtracting, then it's going to be negative. So here's my y-intercept. My slope is 4. That's what's in place of the m. Well, slope is rise over run. So if I just have one number, what am I going to do? Well, can you change that to a fraction? Yeah, it's 4 over 1. So that means from this point, I want to go up 4, positive 4, to the right 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, to the right 1. 
up four to the right one. Yeah. Okay. I could also, again, going to our last example, go down four to the left one. Two negatives give me the positive, cancel out. So I go down four to the left one. All of these lie on the same line. Okay, if they don't lie on the straight line, same line, I did something wrong. Okay? Now, I want you to try this one on your own. Think about what your slope would be. When you finish, press play and we'll check it. All right, so let's check it. Our y-intercept is at four. So one, two, three, four. Now, my slope is what is my coefficient of x? Well, I just have an x here. Well, if it's just an x, that means it is 1x. So that means my ilm, or my slope, is 1. Changing that to a fraction is 1 over 1. That Remember, we just put a whole number over 1. So this means I can go up 1 over 1. Up 1 over 1. Up 1 over 1. Up 1 to the right 1. Okay, or I could go down 1 to the left 1. Down one to the left, whoops, down one to the left one. Okay? Then here would be my line. 